Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the box we're making today. It opens up just like this. Okay, so the following video was filmed live. Feel free to fast forward and don't forget there's a free inspiration sheet over on my website along with the box template to make this box. Thanks a lot, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so what is this? It is Monday, March 9th. Okay, so tonight we are making a box, of course. I think we make a box every Monday. Um, so hopefully you guys are a fan of boxes. Uh, before we get started, uh, just a reminder about the Stampin' Anonymous tutorials. It's free with an order. And I am having a birthday week special. Actually, it's about, it's two weeks. So my birthday really is only this week on Wednesday. And I had lots of people laugh with me about uh, celebrating my birthday for a whole week. I really don't celebrate my birthday for a week, but I like to say that I do because um, David is usually always out of town. He usually goes fishing on my birthday because it's better fishing. Um, and he and the kids are the one that, that started their birthday week. But it's always like everyone's always been busy on my birthday. But then when it's their birthday, they make such a big deal about it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to start doing this myself. It's my birthday week, and I should get everything I want, right? <laughs> okay, so enough about that. The special is over on my website. We are using Wildly Happy and Label Me Bold. So, here we go. Supplies. These two back pieces here are scraps for stamping and die cutting. So, those two. And we are making a box with a lid uh, tonight. I love boxes with lids. Sometimes I'm too lazy to make a box with a lid because it requires, you know, more concentration. Um, okay, so this is gonna measure gray granite, eight and a half by five and a half. That's the box. The lid measures four and three eighths by three and a half, okay? And then we have the gray granite designer series paper. Now I, tried making this project today with pear pizzazz and pool party and coastal cabana and the please is punch paper it just wasn't working for me so um yeah so we're using the gray granite this is in the neutrals pack and the first piece measures two and an eighth by three and three quarters and i don't know which one's which I'm just going to go down the list. <laughs> I'll put them all out. Hold on. Let me do this. Let me show them to you. And then I'll I'll say the sizes. <laughs> okay. So two and an eighth by three and three quarters. Two and an eighth by three quarters. Three and three quarters by one and a quarter. And you need two of those. One and a quarter by three quarters. You need two of those. And two and a quarter by one and a quarter. I know that was a lot, but you see them, so not so much. And that is all out of one six by six sheet. So I think that was that was what was really important is that I was able to get a box made with a whole sheet of um, gray granite and a sh and a six by six sheet of the de designer series paper. Okay, let's start with the box. Box. Thank you. Brookie's home with the birds. Um, they just arrived like an hour and a half ago. Um, and then my sister is driving out here on Thursday. So, yay. I'm so excited. I love to have company for my birthday. Okay, enough about me. Let's get this, this box made. So, I'm going to place it on the landscape side, which is the eight and a half inch side. And I'm going to score it at three quarters two and a quarter. Sorry, Bella's so happy that Brooke is here. That's her running upstairs. Okay, so let me recap that. Three quarters, two and a quarter, four and five eighths, and six and an eighth. And then I'm going to turn it on the portrait side, which is the five and a half inch side, and I'm going to score it at one and a half. Okay, there's that. And then we're gonna take the four and three eighths by three and a half, and we're gonna score it at one inch. Is that right? Let's see. 
yeah, one inch on all four sides. Oh, goodness gracious, the glare is right smack dab where I'm scoring. Sorry about that. We have to have the lights, otherwise the quality of the video would be very poor, but it does create a glare. Okay, so I'm gonna get my bone folder. I'm folding on the score lines. Okay, now I'm gonna use my bone folder to burnish these. Um, so for those of you that are watching The Bachelor, I know I've had a few people say that once the show ends, they'll, they'll be back to watching the live. Um, I, I, I guess Brooke and I will watch it afterwards. We'll watch it later tonight. I never watch it live because I could never handle commercials. Okay. So we're, we're going to do some cutting now. Okay, let me get the smaller scissors. These are quite large. So this is the three quarter inch side over here. And I'm gonna remove that section. So this is basically like pretty much any box that we make, but just a different size. So there's that. And then the rest of these we're gonna cut Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm making a change. Well, you'll see that when I show you the sample. I decided to change colors, not colors. I made this box originally in Whisper White, and now I'm, I'm making it in Gray Granite. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna like better. I love using the um, thick Whisper White for boxes. And the box I showed on my website today was using um, Whisper white. Okay, I'm gonna use tear and tape now and place it on this piece. I don't remember, I can't remember if I need two pieces or not. Okay, come here. Okay, so I love uh, daylight savings time because we get an extra hour, but man, it sure messes me up. I get so tired initially. Okay, so I'm going to remove the um, backing of the tearing tape. Yeah, I'm like dog tired. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now that is the back of my box. That makes this the front of my box. So I'm just going to put my tearing tape on this. Where did I put it? Goodness. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. Now we're gonna cut the lid. So I'm gonna cut on those score lines. And then I'm just trimming these tabs a little bit. And I want to remind you guys about when you're um, when you're adding your lids to your box, you want a nice fit, but you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. So it all depends on how you attach these sides. So let me show you an example, or let me show you. So if I take, so this is the outside, these are our tabs. If I take this all the way to the edge, that may or may not give me a really tight fit. If, if it's too tight, then you can just bring in one side, just a smidge like that, 
See what I mean? So you can either take it all the way to the edge or you can bring it in just a smidge. You don't know until you put your adhesive on there which, which way it's gonna go. Um, so your adhesive is kind of important. So I'm gonna use the liquid glue because it's kind of forgiving. The ticket though is really is to do it quickly so that we can still shift it. I could actually use the snail because it's raining today and the humidity is really, our sump pump's been running ever since I woke up this morning. <laughs> okay, I'm a fumble finger today. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for a second. Now I got glue on my fingers. So much for pulling it back up. Whoops. This stuff dries clear. It's funny, I think why I switched to liquid glue is probably the question that I get asked the most often. And I'm like, it. it's because of where I live. It's not because I don't like the other adhesive. I truly have a lot of humidity. Um, I'm basically looking at the ground right this second. The window is right right there, and I am looking at the ground. Yeah, I'm at ground level, which is good, I guess, if it's storming. Okay, now we get to add our paper. So take that lid back off, and this is gonna get added to the front. I love this color. I mean, I, I like the basic gray and the smoky slate too. I think maybe I like this one because it has that beautiful ribbon that we're gonna be using. Okay, there's that. Now for the lid. And we have the two sides. See, now y'all see why all these littles. Now, which one do we want to be the front? We want to determine that before we add this last piece, that one. Okay. Okay, what fits in here? This does, I think, yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna stamp our images. We're using Memento ink for the elephants. And we're using gray granite for the happy birthday. I forgot to put my sticker on there. Oh well. I'm gonna stamp it one more time just to make sure that I like it. Okay. That looks like, um, it looks a little bit like crumb cake, doesn't it? It dries a little bit differently though, so it'll be okay. Now, we're gonna give 
let's see. No, we'll go ahead and color. We have time. Uh, I'm using the combo of gray granite, dark and light. And just gonna kind of go around the edges of him, her, I should say. Yeah, sorry, I'm not talking very much. I'm tired, dog tired. Now the light. I wish time, I wish the time would just stay this time forever and then no more changing. Bella's been begging for dinner like all day long. Even she gets all jacked up. I always feel the need to apologize that I don't really, I haven't really learned how to do all that fancy coloring with these things, but not all of us can be perfect at everything. So I'm just going to be me. One of these days I'm going to tackle it. I'm going to learn how to be really fancy with my coloring. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to fussy cut them out. And it's not going to be perfect, I promise you. In fact, my eyes are so blurry today, it's ridiculous. I don't even know how I'm seeing. I don't know what it is. It, it's probably allergies. Yeah, now that I think about it, it's probably allergies. David's never had allergies a day in his life, and now he has allergies. I'm like, welcome to my world. Sorry, dude. Whoa, I just cut into the elephant. Ugh, sorry. I'll stop talking. I'll do better. I'll have to redo this before I take pictures for sure. too bad right only place I messed up is right there um, okay so now we are going to be using the coastal weave embossing folder and the stitch shape die and what are we doing <laughs> we're cutting out one of these circles with that and then we're going to emboss it yeah so, I'm going to get the big shot real quick. Okay, so now we're going to take that circle... And we need the blue plate this time. So the Big Shot platform and, oops. <laughs> no live video would be complete without me dropping something. Okay, so there's that. I love that. And we are also fussy cutting the 
Happy birthday. Now I'm gonna show you guys some other greetings that you can use if you're not a fan of this one or if you don't plan on getting this one. I like it because um, it has a bunch of them and they're easy to use. Okay, there's that. And I'm going to take, I'm a little obsessed with combining ribbons right now, so you'll just have to bear with me as I work through it. I tried just using one ribbon, and I actually liked both of them together. So I'm using the gray granite with the polka dot. Let's say, okay, so I want it like that. And then let's say, I had to think about that for a second. I think I messed up. I did. Let me start over. I'm overthinking it. Man, I got glue all over my fingers. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now let's straighten this up. The poofy part. Okay, this is gonna go up here. You know, now that I took away uh, the Thick Whisper White, now this white uh, ribbon uh, might not be the best choice. I don't know. We'll see. We'll compare them. Okay, so that's going to go up there. And I've got my glue dots. Just right in the middle. And then this is going to get dimensionals. couple in the middle I'm gonna add this to the box first I'm getting ahead of myself Now I'm adding them. And then this is gonna go down here. You can pop that up if you want. Um, either way looks good. Rut row, that was almost upside down. And then I'm gonna add one of these teeny tiny hearts just to give it a little pop of color <laughs> and you don't have to do this step you can leave off the heart but I think it's a cute embellishment so I'm just going to turn it over and add a little drop of glue Okay, what do you think? Pretty cute. So that's, I think because I made the box out of gray granite instead of um, the Thick Whisper White that maybe you could just use just the um, gray granite ribbon. So here's the one I made earlier today. Oh, I don't know, I like the white too. Thank y'all very much.